let's talk about GPS. So what is GPS? A GPS is a global positioning system that consists of some ground GPS monitoring stations, a number of GPS satellites that go around the Earth continuously, and the GPS devices used by users on Earth. If you have a smartphone, you're part of the global positioning system as a user of it. The ground stations consist of uh, materialized points on the ground which coordinates related to the Earth center have been calculated using astronomical methods. So these ground stations are the reference of the satellites that around the Earth and the reference of the entire system as well. Uh, now, when the GPS scientists and engineers uh, launch a GPS satellite, they know exactly the trajectory of the satellite. Uh, therefore, using geometry equations, they are able to propagate the coordinates of these uh, ground stations to each of the satellites. So this way, each satellite has coordinates at each given time. Now, uh, currently there are 24 US satellites orbiting the Earth, Russia also has around 25 and other countries have also launched some GPS satellites. And each satellite has a different orbit path with a goal to cover the Earth uh, evenly. Uh, the GPS satellites are around 20,000 kilometers above the Earth and each of them orbits the Earth around two times per day. Uh, so using ground stations we are able to calculate the coordinates of each satellite at any given time. Uh, now, as users, we want to calculate the coordinates of the point where we are standing by using a signal from the orbiting satellites. Your smartphone has a GPS sensor which is able to receive signal from the GPS satellites. And this signal contains the timestamp where the signal was issued from the satellite. Uh, basically, the GPS receiver knows the time where the signal arrived so it calculates the time that took for the signal to arrive at the GPS device. The speed of the signal is also known, so knowing the time and the speed you can calculate the distance traveled by the signal. So the GPS device knows the position of the satellite and it also knows that it is at a particular distance from the satellite. But with one satellite it doesn't know uh, exactly where so that just a radius of a probability sphere, so to say. So we still don't know the coordinates of our GPS device with one satellite. However, another satellite that is currently orbiting above the, in the sky comes in for help. The same process is repeated and another sphere is created. Now we know that the GPS device is located at the intersection line created by the two spheres. Uh, where exactly we still don't know. That's why we need a third satellite. The distance sphere created by the satellite will intersect the line between the first two spheres at one point. And so one single point is defined and that's how the point position is geometrically found. And this process is called trilateration. Analytically, uh, the calculation of the coordinates is done by the algorithm installed in the GPS device, uh, which consists of some equations that use the coordinates of the three satellites and a system of equations to calculate the position of the GPS device. So the output will be the, the coordinates. Now, the more satellites the GPS device uses, the more accurate the result will be because uh, there will be a redundancy, which basically allows to find the best position solution. The accuracy uh, does also depend on the precision of the GPS device clock. Uh, GPS handheld devices and smartphones can calculate the position with an error of a few meters. Professional GPS devices have high precision clocks compared to handheld devices and smartphones. Uh, therefore, they can calculate accurate coordinates down to the centimeter or to the millimeter range. Uh, so that's how your GPS device tells you where you are at any given time. Hope this was uh, interesting for you to learn and while this is not very much practical information, it is still good to know if you're handling GPS data sometimes.
but there's a practical lecture in the next section which uh, will explain how GPS data look like and how to handle them. So see you there.